Hi, sisters and friends, it's Trevano Parker here with 9 Plus Financial Literacy and Coaching, where I am just a Christian wife and mom, like many of you, who also happens to be a family financial coach and advocate. And today I want to talk to you guys about how making a mockery of mental health can actually mess up your money for generations to come. Now I'm kind of whispering because the baby's in here asleep and I do not want to wake him up. But I want to let you guys know that I am on a mission, on a mission to stamp out generational paycheck to paycheck living, or at least, you know, um, not stamp it out, but I guess give some insights on patient, generational paycheck to paycheck living, or worse, generational poverty. Um, I just want to help sisters and friends like you and me uh, to learn ways to protect our families, nix our mortgages, defeat our debt, make more, and to live free. In my uh, coaching, I actually take a holistic biblical approach to financial coaching where I help to master personal finances as well as to enhance every part of life. And uh, if you guys want to consult with me, you can hit that link in the description of the video and you can get a free consultation. In the meantime, uh, if you would please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and hit that notification bell so that you are alerted whenever I upload, that would be great. So now without further ado, let's get into it. How can making a mockery of mental health mess up your money for generations to come? Now you guys know, as I said, I would like to help people avoid generational paycheck to paycheck living and to help stamp out generational poverty. Uh, by helping people master their finances and one of the best ways to do that is through protection through life insurance life insurance bar none is one of the swiftest ways to make a difference in your family and to knock out generational paycheck to paycheck living or generational poverty now of course that comes with education on how to use the policy uh, how to set up the policy but that is another video right now i want to talk about how um, making a mockery can ruin all this. Now, you know if something devastating happens, you lose a loved one. It's devastating already. But to make it worse, there are many people who end up uprooted from their homes because who's gonna pay the mortgage now that uh, the breadwinner is not around or the two, head, um, two home, the household to a dual income, that's what I'm trying to say, dual income household is no longer uh, flowing. Uh, who's going to pay for the children's schooling if they want to go to college and they had dreams? What's going to happen to them now? What about retirement? That looks a li little different now. So now we have different dynamics set up and it just makes a, an already bad situation worse. And so one of the best ways, the easiest ways, the most simple, uh, everybody has access ways to change all of that and make a huge difference in their lives is through life insurance. So I would recommend that all of you consider life insurance. Now, again, I am a life insurance agent. I'm a bookkeeper. Uh, want any more information about life insurance, just uh, reach out for um, to me about life insurance and I'll give you more information. Um, but having said all of that, life insurance companies are pretty old school. They focus on the science of it all. They are very particular when it comes to uh, the risk that they're taking on. Life insurance companies are taking on a risk by saying, if something happens to you, I'm gonna pay X amount of dollars. So they have to make sure that they're, they're not foolish with their money. They need to make sure that they're balancing the risk. And so they're gonna ask, you know, your age, your gender, they're very serious about male and female because there are different things that happens with males and females. Their, their um, life, um, Longevity, how long are they expected to live? The different risk factors that they have with their bodies. Um, your age makes a huge difference. Uh, if you get a life insurance, it's always based on age and health. Uh, the younger you are, the healthier you are, the cheaper it will be, the more you can get. And that goes with mental health as well. Now, why are we talking about this? Again, this may not even affect our generation so much, uh, but the younger people are being bombarded with this idea that mental health problems are somehow glamorous. And so there's a lot of push to be diagnosed with something. And unfortunately, sometimes people are being diagnosed, self-diagnosed, and then they just go to a therapist or psychiatrist or someone else to just kind of reinforce what they already thought. So back in the day where mental health was to help you focus on 
getting right sometimes now is kind of focused on just affirming what you already have going on. Okay, so having said that, you have examples. Let me give you guys an example. Just for example, it's trendy to say that you need a support animal so that you can get cheaper rent in your apartment or not cheaper rent, but you can get an animal in your apartment without having to pay for it. So that's something that's kind of trendy. And because of that, people are putting different things into their files or they're, they're claiming different symptoms so that they can get this $50, $200 savings deal with their landlord. Now, what does that mean for your life insurance policy? Well, just like your physical health, your mental health is also scrutinized by your life insurance company. Because again, you are going to become a risk or a client will become a risk, a policyholder will become a risk. And um, a lot of times, uh, if, well, not a lot of times, but just there's a, a, a um, they have clauses even for like suicide or things like that because they understand that that's a mental health thing and they wanna make sure that they are not putting themselves at an undue risk. So having said that, um, they will go and check your files. They don't just, you don't just sign up for a policy. And, and this is why a lot of people sign up for policies entirely too late. They don't, you know, we don't generally think about the benefits of life insurance. We're kind of scared of life insurance. We think there's some kind of a scam, but uh, they will check your, your, your information. So if you wait to the last minute and you go, you have mental health issues or you have physical health issues and they will check that information. So just know that. So if you have a lot of mental health issues and struggles in your file, now this is not, I'm not talking about, you know, standing out mental health issues. People have mental health issues. I'm not making a mockery of mental health. I'm talking about people who are actually making a mockery of mental health. It is important to guard your, your mental health and your physical health, to guard what's in your files, what, what doctors are writing up about you. Make sure that you're sharing accurate information so that the information can be accurate because it will come back to haunt you um, as far as finances go. And of course, your doctor, you know, they have their life, they have their dreams, they have their money. They're not struggling with, uh, or they may not, may or not, may or may not be struggling with their finances, but this can definitely mess up your finances. And I don't know if they know that or not, but it can definitely mess up your finances. So. Um, I guess I'm sharing this with you because I want us to be very mindful of what we do and also make sure that we're teaching that to our children. There's a very real way that life insurance policies can make people very wealthy. And, you know, that's, you know, not the dream. I'm not saying that wealth and the dream of wealth is right or even biblical, but I am saying that the struggle, we do not, we do not have to put ourselves in a, in a major struggle. Um, but it's a lack of knowledge. And so I'm just sharing knowledge. Uh, I don't wanna make this video entirely too long, but I just wanna let you guys know that making a mockery of mental health can make, make major, major changes and major money mistakes for people. So let your children know that, keep them aware. And if you guys have any questions, again, please let me know. Again, I'm a life insurance agent, so if you want to talk to me about life insurance, you can do that as well. But if you want to uh, get a free consultation for uh, financial coaching, the link is in the description. And again, if you please like, subscribe, and share, uh, hit the notification bell. And other than that, I think I will talk to you guys in the next video. You guys have a great day. Remember to keep your money safe, and it's not about how much you make. It's about how much you keep. So you guys have a great day and God bless.